welcome to Dreamland Chronicles. I'm your host, Noah. Thank you for choosing to join us. Before we begin, find a comfortable position, set aside all your tasks, and let's enter a state of tranquility together. Firstly, let's take a deep breath together. Inhale slowly, then exhale gently. Repeat a few times, allowing your breath to become deeper and more rhythmic. Now, use your senses to feel every part of your body. From head to toe, notice any tension or discomfort. Just acknowledge their presence without striving to change them. As you continue to breathe deeply, let's alleviate the tension in your body by gradually relaxing your muscles. Starting from the head, moving downward, gently release each muscle. Feel that comfortable, light sensation, as if an invisible comforting hand is gently embracing you. Shift your attention to your thoughts. Don't strive to eliminate them. Just let them quietly float by, like clouds drifting in the sky. You are merely an observer, unaffected by these thoughts. Let's take another deep breath, absorbing tranquility and peaceful energy. In this moment, you are safe, serene, and anything can wait until tomorrow. Thank you for participating in tonight's scientific relaxation moment. May you have a peaceful night and sweet dreams. Now, as you drift toward sleep, I'll hand the microphone over to Nicole to tell us a story. Once upon a time, nestled between rolling hills and whispering trees, there existed a quaint little village with a secret hidden for centuries. This was the country antiques market, a treasure trove of nostalgia and hidden tales. Every weekend, villagers and travelers alike would gather at the market, their footsteps echoing on the cobblestone paths. Here, amidst weathered stalls and rural charm, time seemed to slow down and the hustle and bustle of the outside world faded away. At the heart of the market stood old Harris. The seasoned merchant was starlight in his eyes, each item in his collection carrying a story. His voice was like a melody dancing in the air, drawing visitors and like bees to honey. One sunny afternoon, a weary traveler named Emily stumbled upon old Harris's stall. As she perused various trinkets and treasures, her eyes sparkled with curiosity. Hello, Yen Miss. What brings you to this corner of the world? I was just passing by, but something about the market drew me in. It's like stepping into a time capsule. Bah. It once belonged to a sea captain who sailed the seven seas, weathering storms of all kinds. Each tick carries tales of adventure and resilience. As old Harris recounted his tales, Emily found herself entering a state of tranquility. Worries of the world melted away, replaced by a sense of wonder and awe. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden glow over the market, Emily knew it was time to bid farewell to old Harris and his magical world. But she left with memories of that enchanted place, reminding herself that sometimes the most precious treasures cannot be bought or solely reside in the stories we share and the moments we cherish. Good night, dear listeners. May your dreams be as rich and vivid as the stories we shared tonight. Emily couldn't help but feel a wind of sadness as she realized it was time to leave. She had been captivated by old Harris's tales, forgetting the passage of time. With a heavy heart, she bid farewell to the old merchant. Footsteps echoing on the cobblestones as she made her way through the market. The sky transformed into a vibrant canvas of colors, the sun sinking lower and casting long shadows over the market. Emily couldn't help but pause, taking in the beauty before her. The market bathed in the warm glow of the sunset, exuding an otherworldly charm. Lost in thought, Emily wandered aimlessly through the market, taking in the sights and sounds around her. She passed rows of antique furniture, each with its own story to tell. There were delicate porcelain pieces weathered with age and tarnished silverware that had seen better days. Everywhere she looked, history awaited to be discovered. As day turned into night, the market became even more magical. Lanterns flickered, casting a soft glow over the stalls and illuminating their treasures. 
The air was filled with the scent of wood smoke and freshly baked bread, adding to the cozy atmosphere. Emily found herself drawn to a stall tucked away in a corner of the market. It was filled with old books, their pages yellowed with age and spines cracked from years of use. She gently ran her fingers over the dusty covers, feeling the stories they held within. Lost in her own little world, Emily didn't notice the passage of time till she heard a familiar voice calling her name. It was old Harris, his face lined with the marks of time, but his eyes twinkling with mischief. Lost in thought, are we? He chuckled. Come, dear, it's late. Let me watch you home. Emily smiled gratefully and walked beside the old merchant. As they made their way through the market, old Harris regaled her with tales of the village's history, pointing out landmarks and sharing anecdotes from his own life. When they reached Emily's doorstep, night had fallen and the stars twinkled overhead like scattered diamonds in the sky. She thanked old Harris for his company, bidding him good night and promising to visit the market again soon. As she watched the old merchant disappear into the night, Emily felt a sense of calm wash over her. The country of antiques market may have been just a place. Though she drifted off to sleep that night, Emily couldn't help but feel grateful for the magic of the market and the unexpected friendship she had found there. The next morning, Emily was awakened by the gentle sunlight streaming through her window. She stretched and felt a sense of contentment from the night before. Memories of the country antiques market danced in her mind like wisps of a dream, and she couldn't wait to return. Determined to make the most of the day, Emily set off for the market once again. This time, she arrived with eager anticipation, eager to explore every corner of the market. As she strolled between the stalls, Emily was drawn to a display of vintage clothing. Each garment seemed to tell its own story, from faded wedding dresses to tattered military uniforms adorned with medals. Lost in her own little world, Emily didn't notice another visitor approaching until they stood beside her. It was a young woman with a warm smile and twinkling eyes, her arms laden with bundles of fabric. Hello, she said cheerfully. I couldn't help but notice your fascination with these old clothes. Are you a collector too? Emily nodded eagerly touched by the stranger's friendly demeanor. They struck up an easy conversation, exchanging tales of their favorite finds and sharing tips on navigating the market. Before long, Emily realized she had spent the entire day with her newfound friend. As the sun began to set once again, casting a warm glow over the market, she knew it was time to say goodbye. But as she made her way home, Emily couldn't shake the feeling of gratitude in her heart. The country antiques market had not only given her treasure-like memories, but also a new friend to share those memories with. As she drifted off to sleep that night, Emily couldn't help but smile, thinking of all the adventures that lay ahead. Days turned into weeks, and weeks turned into months, but Emily's love for the country antiques market only grew stronger. She became a familiar face among the vendors, sharing stories and laughter and exploring the market's hidden treasures. With each passing day, Emily discovered seemingly timeless wonders. From ancient artifacts to forgotten relics, the market bore witness to the enduring power of history and nostalgia. But perhaps the greatest treasure of all was the friendships Emily forged along the way. Whether trading tales with old Harris or sharing secrets with her new friend from the vintage clothing stall, the market was a place of connection and memory making. As the seasons changed and the years passed, Emily remained a steadfast presence in the village, her spirit forever intertwined with the magic of the country antiques market. Though she grew older with time, Emily's sense of wonder and awed the world around her never faded. For in the heart of the market, she had found a place where dreams came true, where stories never ended. And so, as the stars twinkled overhead and the world drifted off to sleep, Emily closed her eyes her heart full of the warmth and eternal memories of the country antiques market. As she drifted into slumber, Emily knew that no matter where life took her, the magic of the market would always be there to welcome her home. May you have a deep and peaceful sleep on this tranquil night. Let pleasant dreams accompany you all through the night, until the first light of dawn. 
Looking forward to our next meeting. At night, and may you have sweet dreams.